All new at six, lost in the Bermuda Triangle. At least that's what people thought happened to a ship that just in the 1920s. Is the disappearance of a slew of ships back in the 17th century. And of course, this area was also a hotbed of pirate activity. In the realm of maritime mysteries, there's a tale that eclipses the Bermuda Triangle's notorious reputation, a place synonymous with vanishing vessels and unexplained phenomena. A ship that once disappeared within the mystifying confines of the Bermuda Triangle has seemingly defied the odds by reappearing, not in the Atlantic's enigmatic waters, but on the shores of Ireland. But how did this ship traverse vast distances without a crew, defying the bounds of logic? Join us as we unveil how the ship that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle reappears in Ireland without crew. The Bermuda Triangle and the Pacific's unsettling history. In the region known as the Bermuda Triangle, extending from the Bermuda Islands in Florida to Puerto Rico, a long-standing mystery has intrigued researchers for an extended period. In this region, covering about 805,000 square kilometers, a remarkable convergence of unexplained events has taken place, leaving investigators intrigued. This area, as large as two Japans, contains the Milwaukee Deep, the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean, much deeper than one and a half Mount Kilimanjaro. It's no surprise that it has become the final resting place for numerous ships and aircraft that disappeared under mysterious circumstances. In the quietness of the Bermuda Triangle, hidden from human sight but stored in the black boxes of crashed planes, there are distressing messages. These cryptic transmissions echo the events in the skies above this mysterious region. Each beep and crackle suggests the frightening moments experienced by pilots and passengers facing an unexplainable force. Despite thorough efforts, many aircraft have vanished without a trace, their final moments hidden in secrecy, with only fragments of the truth stored in those black boxes. But wait, because the Bermuda Triangle is not the only intriguing mystery in this field. You see, since the late 16th century, a section of the Pacific waters near Tokyo has been surrounded by mystery, earning the unsettling name Devil's Triangle. In this mysterious area, several Dutch, British, and Portuguese ships have met unfortunate fates while journeying from Europe to Indonesia. It is believed that these vessels ventured too far east into the unexplored waters of Western Australia, disappearing without a trace. As we explore the history of this unusual region, we discover its connection to legends of dragons attacking sailors, a belief held by ancient cultures. In the 13th 18th century, Kublai Khan, the powerful ruler of the Mongol Empire and grandson of Genghis Khan, tried to invade Japan twice, first in 1274 and then in 1281. Surprisingly, both attempts faced an unexplained fate as his ships mysteriously vanished along with nearly 40,000 crew members. The Japanese, interpreting this as divine intervention, credited the gods for thwarting the conqueror's ambitions. Moving to the early 20th century, the mystery persists. Fishing ships, warships, and even a research vessel carrying 100 scientists on a mission to understand the anomaly all met enigmatic fates, vanishing without a trace. Adding to the intrigue is the striking resemblance between the Devil's Triangle and its more famous counterpart, the Bermuda Triangle. Both are located at the same latitude on the east coast of large continental masses and feature some of the deepest ocean trenches, the Mariana Trench in the case of the Devil's Triangle, similar to the Bermuda Triangle's deep underwater chasms. These similarities make them like twins, and their parallel existence raises numerous questions for curious investigators. The Mystery of Friendship Rosalia and Mary Celeste. There are fascinating stories about ships that have disappeared without a clear explanation, creating mysteries for investigators for many years. One such incident involved the friendship Rosalia, a ship traveling from Hamburg to Havana in 1804. This mysterious vessel was found adrift in the Sargasso Sea, a place known for its connection to the Bermuda Triangle. The ship was strangely silent, giving the impression that time had stopped within its wooden structure. It seemed as if the crew had vanished, leaving behind a surreal scene, a lone canary in a cage, hungry but resilient, singing a melancholy tune. The sailor's lunch was untouched in the galley, untouched by human hands. A similar mysterious event occurred in 1872 with the Mary Celeste, an American ship traveling from New York to Italy through the infamous Bermuda Triangle. After a year, the ship was discovered near the Azores, highlighting the mysterious nature of this region. The crew was nowhere to be found, Yet the captain's quarters held undisturbed valuables, and a solitary cat survived the perplexing experience. Similar to the friendship Rosalia, the crew of the Mary Celeste seemed to have vanished without leaving any clues behind. 
Interestingly, the danger of this area is not just in its vastness over the sea, but also extends into the limitless skies above. A puzzling event that still confuses historians and aviation experts is the mysterious disappearance of Flight 19 in 1945. This squadron, consisting of five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers, set out on what was supposed to be a routine exercise, but vanished without a trace into the mysterious void. Various theories surround the perplexing disappearance of Flight 19. The idea that all five aircraft experienced simultaneous failure might seem unlikely, considering these planes underwent thorough testing and were declared fit for flight before their departure. The experienced crews were highly knowledgeable in aviation, and the sudden collapse of multiple aircraft under their supervision appears to defy logic. On a regular day, December 4, 1970, a Beechcraft Bonanza plane took off from Andros Island in the Bahamas, with the pilot and two passengers heading for the Florida coast. The usual flight covered a distance of 400 kilometers, lasting about 90 minutes at an altitude of 3,500 meters. Unknown to them, this ordinary trip would soon turn into an intriguing story of unexplainable events. While flying through the sky, the pilot noticed a strange cloud formation in the distance on that fateful day. This was no ordinary cloud, it had a cylindrical shape, spanning over a kilometer in diameter and seemingly endless in length. It was unlike anything the pilot had ever seen. Confronted with this mysterious obstacle, the pilot decided to navigate through the peculiar cloud, having no idea what awaited them inside. As the aircraft entered the cloud, darkness surrounded them as if it were nighttime. Suddenly, bright white flashes of light erupted, illuminating the confined space within the cloud. Surprisingly, the bursts of light weren't lightning, which confused the people inside, making them uncertain about what was going on. In the middle of this strange experience, the pilot couldn't help but think about how fragile life is. However, just as fear set in, hope appeared. A light at the end of a tunnel, quite literally, gave them a glimpse of escape. The cloud, shaped like a tunnel, started to narrow, creating a strange and otherworldly feeling. At the same time, all electronic devices on the plane stopped working, and the compass needle spun unpredictably, as if gravity had let go. It was a confusing and unsettling sensation, but it marked a crucial turning point in their mysterious journey. When the plane emerged from the cloud, they were surprised to realize they were almost in Miami, covering the distance in just 47 minutes of flight time. This was astonishing because the usual travel time for that distance was an hour and a half, defying known laws of physics. Adding to the mystery, the plane had used significantly less fuel than expected, leaving everyone on board amazed and puzzled. Even now, the crew and passengers of Flight 1970 are still confused, unable to explain the inexplicable events of that fateful day. The mysterious cloud, the strange flashes of light, the disruption of technology, the peculiar tunnel effect, and the time-defying journey have left a trail of unanswered questions. We may never fully understand the logical gaps in this captivating story of what happened on that extraordinary flight, forever wrapped in mystery and intrigue. Time-Traveling Plane Another perplexing mystery that continues to baffle investigators involves the sudden disappearance of Pan American World Airways Flight 914, carrying 57 passengers, on a fateful day on July 1955. The aircraft, slated for a routine trip from New York to Miami lasting just three hours, inexplicably vanished from radar screens, leaving no trace of wreckage behind. Initially, the prevailing belief was that the flight had met a tragic end, with all passengers presumed to have perished. However, the narrative took a surprising turn 37 years later, when the venerable Weekly World News published a captivating article. On September 9th, an extraordinary event unfolded at Krakus Airport in Venezuela. A mysterious DOT materialized on the radar, seemingly out of thin air, as if a phantom plane had emerged from non-existence. The pilot, making contact with the control tower, expressed an urgent need to reach Miami Airport on that very same July day in 1955. Astonishingly, he was informed that the current year was 1992, not the long-gone 1955. The captain, utterly bewildered, pleaded with airport personnel not to approach his plane. Disregarding all protocols, he hastily restarted the engines and without clearance, took off into the sky, promptly disappearing from radar once again. It is essential to approach such accounts with a degree of skepticism, especially when considering stories from the infamous Bermuda Triangle and the Weekly World News is known for its tendency to indulge in paranormal speculations. 
The publication's writers often craft sensational stories to attract readers, blending the unexplained with supernatural elements to captivate audiences. On the ill-fated day of June 28, 1980, the pilot of flight N3808H uttered chilling words just before all communication was abruptly lost. The aircraft, along with its entire crew, disappeared without a trace in the mysterious Bermuda Triangle. Even now, the circumstances surrounding this vanishing act continue to baffle and captivate the world's imagination. The mystery of the Bermuda Triangle has spurred numerous hypotheses from the scientific and research communities, each attempting to unravel the secrets hidden within this perplexing sea region. One theory suggests that the combination of sharp underwater ridges and perilous reefs may have been the culprit behind the frequent shipwrecks in the area. However, this explanation appears more relevant to a time when wooden vessels sailed the seas, as modern ships equipped with advanced technology are better equipped to navigate such hazards. Another intriguing perspective has emerged, focusing on the masses of bubbles surfacing in the Bermuda Triangle's waters, believed to originate from fissures in the tectonic plates below. According to some researchers, these bubbles could contain explosive methane gas that, upon reaching the surface, transforms into massive bubbles capable of engulfing entire ships. However, this explanation faces skepticism, particularly due to the discovery of certain vessels within the triangle that remained fully intact, casting doubt on its plausibility. Geologists propose a convincing idea related to infrasound, which is a low-frequency sound produced by intense storms. According to this theory, infrasound can negatively impact the human nervous system, causing panic and irrational behavior among the crew of a ship. This heightened fear may prompt passengers to abandon the ship, potentially explaining the discovery of empty vessels in the Bermuda Triangle. It's important to note that these explanations primarily focus on maritime incidents and do not provide insight into the fate of aircraft, such as Flight N3808H. The mystery surrounding the disappearance of airplanes within the Bermuda Triangle remains unaddressed by these theories. In the field of weather science, an experienced individual named Steve Miller, who is a respected member of the renowned NASA team, has presented an intriguing idea. While closely examining images from satellites, Miller discovered a mysterious occurrence, hexagonal clouds with remarkably straight edges appearing over the enigmatic expanse of the Bermuda Triangle. Miller's theory suggests that these unusual cloud formations could give rise to what he calls aerial bombs. These aerial bombs materialize as sharply defined wind currents, reaching an astonishing velocity comparable to that of a Category 5 hurricane, clocking in at an impressive 300 kilometers per hour. These powerful forces can submerge even large vessels, and within moments, they can propel an aircraft to its demise, giving pilots and passengers only a brief period to confront their impending fate. The implications of this theory are monumental, challenging our understanding of the Bermuda Triangle's infamous reputation. While Miller's proposal sparks curiosity and fascination, it necessitates further examination and validation. Regrettably, the satellite images alone do not offer conclusive proof of downward-directed air currents funneled through the clouds, a crucial element required to substantiate Miller's thesis. Therefore, additional observations and thorough research are imperative to establish a definitive connection between the hexagonal clouds and the alleged aerial bombs. The Disappearance of the USS Cyclops in 1918, a ship named the USS Cyclops mysteriously vanished in the Bermuda Triangle. The USS Cyclops was a collier ship, primarily used for transporting coal, and it had an important mission during World War I, carrying manganese ore, a crucial material for manufacturing steel. The ship, along with its 309 crew members, disappeared without a trace. What makes this incident even more perplexing is that no distress signals were ever sent. Normally, when a ship encounters trouble, distress signals are transmitted to seek help. However, in the case of the USS Cyclops, there was complete silence. This disappearance stands out as one of the largest losses of life in U.S. naval history not related to combat. The USS Cyclops was under the command of Lieutenant Commander George W. Worley, and it was on its way from Brazil to the United States when it vanished. The ship was last heard from on March 4, 1918, 
after departing from Barbados. Various theories have been proposed to explain the disappearance of the USS Cyclops, but none have been proven. Some suggest that the ship may have encountered a storm, while others speculate about the possibility of enemy involvement. However, no concrete evidence has ever been found to support any particular theory. The lack of wreckage or any signs of the crew has added to the enigma surrounding the USS Cyclops. Despite extensive searches by the US Navy, no trace of the ship or its crew has ever been discovered. In 1944, another unusual event unfolded in the Bermuda Triangle that caught the attention of the US Navy. The ship named Rubicon, which had disappeared a month earlier while traveling from Cuba to Havana, suddenly reappeared near Florida. Initially presumed sunk, the discovery of the Rubicon brought hope to worried relatives seeking answers about their loved ones. However, the Navy's encounter with the ship was perplexing. Despite expectations of damage, the Rubicon looked undamaged, challenging the idea of a tragic end at sea. Instead, a strange calm surrounded the vessel, unsettling the rescuers. Boarding the ship revealed a mysterious anomaly, no signs of human life. Though over 300 people were believed to have been on the Rubicon, not a single person was found. Strangely, a lone dog was the only living being on the deserted ship, seemingly appearing out of nowhere. The passengers' belongings and food supplies, undisturbed and preserved as if frozen in time, added to the enigma. The Enigmatic Michigan Triangle in the center of the United States lies a place that surpasses the mysterious reputations of both the Bermuda Triangle and the Devil's Triangle combined. For many years, strange things have happened in the area around Lake Michigan, challenging the usual explanations. What's really interesting is that these incidents create a clear triangle shape on the map, earning it the name Michigan Triangle. In the expansive waters of Lake Michigan, various puzzling disasters have occurred, adding to the fascination of its mysteries. In this captivating landscape, numerous stories of unexplained disappearances, strange lights on the water, and otherworldly events have become part of local folklore. Sailors, pilots, and travelers have all been intrigued by the mysterious happenings in the Michigan Triangle. Both skeptics and believers continue to debate these unexplainable events, fueling an ongoing discussion about the unknown. In 1950, something strange happened to Northwest Airlines Flight 2501, carrying 55 passengers and three crew members from New York to Minneapolis over the Michigan Triangle. Surprisingly, the aircraft seemed to disappear without a trace, puzzling authorities and aviation experts. Another example is the mysterious case of Stephen Backing, a student at a private Christian university in Michigan. In 1978, he went missing while skiing along the lake's shores. A search was conducted, and investigators found his footprints along the shoreline, but they suddenly disappeared. Presumed lost, his grieving loved ones were left to mourn. The situation took an unusual turn a year later when Stephen was miraculously found over a thousand kilometers away. Surprisingly, he was alive and well. When asked about his strange journey and how he ended up so far away, Stephen couldn't remember the events that led him there. These odd occurrences are just the tip of the iceberg in the mysteries of the Michigan Triangle. Numerous stories of unexplained disappearances, strange encounters, and puzzling phenomena continue to capture the imagination, generating various theories but no definitive answers. Scholars, scientists, and amateur investigators have explored the enigmas surrounding this perplexing region, yet the truth remains elusive. The Ghost Ship MV Alta and the Flying Dutchman Connection the tale of the MV Alta also unfolds like a captivating chapter from a maritime mystery novel, reminiscent of the intrigue associated with the Bermuda Triangle. Despite its connection to different waters, the narrative of this ghost ship's odyssey across the Atlantic, marked by an unexplained disappearance and enigmatic reappearance, not only captures the imagination, but also adds fuel to the flames of maritime lore. The MV Alta, a 77-meter cargo ship, embarked on its journey from Greece in September 2018, bound for Haiti, laden with goods and hope. Initially expected to be a routine voyage across the bustling lanes of the Atlantic Ocean, fate took a divergent course for the Alta and its crew of 10. In October 2018, while navigating the southeastern Atlantic, the ship encountered mechanical problems, leaving it adrift approximately 1,380 miles southeast of Bermuda, outside the infamous Triangle, but within the unpredictable clutches of the sea. Stranded in the vast expanse of the ocean, the resilient crew managed to survive for 20 days without external assistance. 
The U.S. Coast Guard, responding to a distress signal, located the vessel on October 29th, launching a successful rescue operation that evacuated the crew, leaving the MV Alta at the mercy of the Atlantic with an uncertain future, soon to become a maritime mystery. Post-rescue, the MV Alta seemingly disappeared into the vastness of the ocean, eluding detection and challenging the odds of maritime navigation for nearly two years. It transformed into a phantom, a ghost ship navigating the seas without human command. This enigmatic period in Alta's story, marked by no reported sightings and speculative discussions about her fate, added layers to her legend. But wait, there's more. You see, the tale of the Flying Dutchman takes on a ghostly quality, encapsulating the very essence of maritime folklore. This spectral ship, condemned to traverse the oceans endlessly, has been reported numerous times since the 17th century. Widely perceived as an ominous sign, the Flying Dutchman is said to be helmed by a captain cursed to navigate the seas perpetually forever unable to reach port. While the Flying Dutchman itself is rooted in legend rather than historical fact, it serves as a manifestation of humanity's enduring fascination with the inexplicable occurrences of the sea. The narrative highlights interesting similarities with the MV Alta's unplanned journey across the Atlantic, creating a peculiar feeling reminiscent of ships moved by unseen forces and bound to an endless voyage. Exploring these historical connections provides a background for understanding the mystery surrounding the MV Alta. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Let's unravel how the ship that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle reappears in Ireland without crew. You see, the appearance of the MV Alta on Ireland's southern coast in February 2020, after drifting in the Atlantic for a year and a half, became a new mystery in maritime disappearances. This event grabbed public attention, leading to investigations and theories about the ship's mysterious journey. Local authorities and maritime agencies quickly responded to secure the site and assess potential environmental threats. The abandoned cargo ship's unexpected presence in County Cork sparked speculation and intrigue globally. The initial reaction ranged from disbelief to curiosity about the ship's origins and how it reached Ireland without a crew. Media attention intensified as images of the vessel against Ireland's dramatic coastline circulated worldwide. The Irish Coast Guard and the receiver of the wreck initiated thorough investigations using satellite data, maritime logs, and international shipping records to reconstruct the MV Alta's trajectory. Questions arose about why the ship was abandoned, how it remained afloat unnoticed for so long, and what forces guided its path to Ireland. Environmental assessments were also conducted to evaluate potential threats to the local ecosystem. Despite its long journey, the MV Alta appeared to be in relatively good condition, raising questions about its resilience and construction. Various theories emerged, including the influence of ocean currents and winds, as well as the possibility of human intervention in guiding the ship part way before abandonment. The absence of the crew fueled speculation about their fate and whether they had been rescued or transferred to another vessel. The investigations highlighted the mysterious allure of ghost ships and the interconnectedness of global maritime routes. As details emerged, a range of theories attempted to explain the MV Alta's journey, but no single explanation could fully account for the ship's path. The truth appeared to lie between known maritime science and the mysteries of the sea. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Columbus's Magnetic Asteroid and the Bermuda Triangle Adding to the discourse on the mysterious Bermuda Triangle, an observer named Jaden Hunsaker has presented a compelling hypothesis in response to an article on the perplexing triangle. According to her theory, the disappearances of both ships and planes in the Bermuda Triangle can be traced back to a remarkable incident documented during Christopher Columbus's historic sea voyage in the year 1492. Columbus's logbook contains a cryptic entry detailing a breathtaking flash observed in the sky during his journey. This luminous event was followed by an unusual disturbance in the compass needles, leaving sailors perplexed. Jaden posits that this celestial flash might have been caused by a magnetic asteroid, suggesting that its presence in the region could elucidate the magnetic anomalies affecting both planes and ships. This notion holds merit considering that science has encountered asteroids with their own magnetic fields. However, a closer examination of the matter reveals a notable caveat. If such an extraterrestrial object did indeed plunge into the ocean during the 15th century, historical records and accounts of this extraordinary event should have endured over time. 
Columbus's journal would not have been the solitary repository of such a momentous occurrence. Moreover, given Columbus's proximity to the crash site, he would likely have experienced the magnetic forces of the asteroid, potentially facing a perilous fate in a colossal tsunami unleashed by the impact. Despite these lingering questions, the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle persists. Countless tales and theories have emerged, casting a veil of uncertainty and intrigue over the region. The allure lies not only in potential explanations for the disappearances, but also in the mystique that permeates the area's history. Sailors and aviators have recounted numerous unexplained phenomena, adding to the mystique and perpetuating the desire to unravel the enigma. Bermuda Triangle's Alien Encounters and Temporal Distortions While some individuals seek to unravel the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle through scientific inquiry, there exists a faction that entertains a more sensational notion, that this perplexing zone serves as a hub for extraterrestrial activity, with aliens purportedly conducting abductions for research purposes. According to these theorists, such a scenario could potentially elucidate the peculiar circumstances surrounding vessels that have ventured into the Triangle's hazardous waters. Curiously, only animals are said to have survived on board, while valuable cargo remains untouched. Remarkably, there is substantial evidence put forth to support this intriguing hypothesis. A noteworthy example is found in a captivating interview published in the Greek daily newspaper, Artist Mafdos Press, on August 17, 1995. This interview featured the compelling testimony of a seasoned merchant seaman and radio operator aboard the ship Pothiti SWJC, named Polycarps Benzus. Benzus recounted a strange experience during one of their voyages. The ship appeared to be hurtling through the waves at an inexplicable Applicable speed, despite the instruments displaying the usual pace. Puzzling sensations gripped the sailor as, minutes later, a series of bizarre events unfolded. The ship's captain fell seriously ill, struggling to lift his hands to the helm due to an overwhelming sensation of heaviness. Simultaneously, the helmsman found it impossible to maintain a steady course as the compass spun wildly out of control. To add to the mystique, the ship's clocks suddenly advanced by two hours, leaving the entire crew bewildered by the inexplicable occurrences. The accounts of such experiences contribute to the allure of the Bermuda Triangle, with proponents of the extraterrestrial theory finding resonance in these mysterious events. Amidst the confusing chaos, Spences found himself witnessing an astounding spectacle, a large, unidentified flying object, white in color, accompanied by two smaller ones, ominously hanging in the sky. Reacting swiftly, the sailor attempted to transmit a Morse code message to report this extraordinary event. Strangely, his movements became slow, as if time itself had decelerated. Another crew member's effort to light a cigarette failed, with the flame promptly extinguishing. A pervasive feeling of abnormal sluggishness weighed down the entire crew, accompanied by unusually slow heartbeats. In that alarming moment, Spences became convinced that he had encountered something truly otherworldly, something with the power to manipulate time. These unsettling accounts only scratch the surface of the numerous mysteries intertwined within the puzzle of the Bermuda Triangle. Over time, unusual events and mysterious happenings have made people question whether the Bermuda Triangle holds secrets beyond our understanding. One noteworthy incident contributing to this curiosity occurred in 2020, when the U.S. Air Force captured a photograph that raised eyebrows, inspiring investigations into the hidden enigmas within the Triangle's boundaries. Numerous theories attempt to unravel the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, with UFO sightings emerging as a commonly discussed phenomenon. However, delving deeper into the quest for comprehension, writers such as Charles Berlays offer unique perspectives. Berlays suggests a captivating notion that the Bermuda Triangle might have been home to an exceptionally advanced ancient civilization in the distant past, an idea often dismissed by mainstream scientists as fictional or mythical. In Burlett's narrative, the Triangle could have been the location of Atlantis, a legendary city reputed to possess groundbreaking technology. According to him, the Atlanteans may have employed a potent energy formula stored within crystals, capable of emitting solar and stellar rays resembling lasers. These advanced tools, Burlays proposes, might have played a pivotal role in their construction projects. However, the tale takes a turn as Atlantis allegedly succumbed to a catastrophic flood, submerging these crystals into the abyss where they continue to exert influence. Some argue that the remnants of these crystals may be responsible for contemporary malfunctions in equipment and compass anomalies experienced by those navigating the Bermuda Triangle. Amidst the plethora of hypotheses involving UFOs and Atlantis, the anomalies of the Bermuda Triangle persist without a clear explanation. 
While these theories present potential answers, none have been substantiated by rigorous scientific evidence. The existence of extraterrestrial crafts or the mythical city of Atlantis remains elusive, leaving us with a disquieting question. How can we ensure the safety of those embarking on journeys into this perplexing region? Thank you for watching. See you in the next update.